it's me, Coco. Have you ever wondered if a produce subscription box is for you? Well, today I'm going to show you two companies, Misfits Market and Imperfect Foods, and show you how I order from them, what the unboxing is like, and my final thoughts and recommendations. So keep watching if you want to see some fruits and vegetables. <laughs> so keep watching if you want to know which one is best for you. The way the Misfits Market does their boxes is you pick a few things out of certain groups. So for example, in group one, I can select six items out of the still available items. I can click this button here to see what I missed out on, but maybe I don't want to torture myself. So um, I definitely want to get a delicata squash. These are so good. <laughs> Oh, and I love that they give you the way to prepare it too. That's really cool. I'm also going to get some lemons, some russet potatoes, sweet fingerling potatoes, limes, and red leaf lettuce. Now that group is done and I'm going to move on to the second group. Here I'm going to get maybe some gold beets, pomegranate, bosque pears, uh, some Fuji apples, gold russet pears, and collard greens. Here we have the sold out items. You know, I might have gotten some eggplant if I had come on time, but I didn't. <laughs> now out of group three, these seem to be the most exclusive items and you can only pick two out of this entire group. I am going to pick the purple fingerling potatoes and the grape tomatoes. And I might have been also able to pick out the green bell peppers, acorn squash, carnival squash, or white cauliflower. And I'm going to confirm and continue. And then it takes you to the marketplace. And the marketplace is somewhere where you can pick different food items that are not fresh produce and uh, add them to your order for an additional fee. So this is where I'll find, you know, these special mushrooms. They have this uh, this yummy looking creamy squash carbonara with crispy mushrooms recipe and then they have the ingredients to make that dish. I think that's kind of a fun feature of the marketplace page. And then we have autumn produce, fruit, um, and other things. To be completely honest, I think that some of these are Still like a little bit more than I would pay for them at the store because we're bargain shoppers and we tend to like to buy things on sale. But there are all sorts of things that you can get here, you know, pasta. The chips actually I think are a pretty good price. I really like these spudsy sweet potato puffs. Oh my gosh. They're the closest things that I've found to a vegan version of a Cheeto. My mouth is watering just thinking about them. <laughs> and there's all sorts of stuff that you can get. We have candy and granola, peanut butter, almond butter, uh, you saw coffee earlier, oil, condiments, just like all sorts of stuff. But you don't need to get any of this stuff. You can just press finish up. And now I'm set for my next delivery, but I still have until, you know, Monday at 8 p.m. to shop the marketplace, change things around in my box or add things. And I think that's really cool. Now let's see what the box looks like when it arrives. I just received my Misfits Market box on my doorstep and so I'm gonna show you what's inside, how it's packaged, and what everything looks like compared to what I ordered online. It still comes in this very adorable box here and oh, it has a little ad for chocolate now. <laughs> um, it still comes in this uh, recyclable packaging. I'm not super excited about this extra um, paper. This actually bothers me a lot less than the first time that I saw it because it is recyclable and it's actually a lot easier to manage than the alternative, which I'll show you when I get the other box. Up at the top, first thing, I have my ice pack. It's not leaking like the first one was. That was a little bit of a traumatic experience. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and check it out right here. I haven't had any experiences like that since my first Misfits Market box, and I'm really glad for that. I'm just gonna let this thaw out in my sink. That's separated by these pieces of cardboard and paper. 
I got me some collard greens. A couple packages of tomatoes. I'm not a fan of the uh, clamshell packaging, although these are recyclable. I mean, they should be recyclable. I'm a little bit disturbed. <laughs> I don't know if this clamshell packaging is recyclable. I don't see a recycling sign on it, but I'm going to assume so. Massive apple right here. So here are some of the apples that I've gotten. This one's a perfect example of one that you wouldn't normally find in the stores, but it's definitely still good. I'm glad that I got it in my box. I have some golden beets here. Whoop. Sweet potatoes, some lemons, pomegranates, lots of limes, lots of pears. More pears. It's common for the lettuce to be like falling apart a little bit when it arrives, but I think it's okay. More beets, more pomegranates, more apples. <laughs> and I got a delicata squash and it's just this little, little guy. <laughs> we'll just by comparison. This is the delicata squash that I got from the store and this is the one that I just got in my Misfits Market box. It's okay, it's just little. <laughs> There's still more. I've got russet potatoes, purple sweet potatoes, and finally just a couple more regular sweet potatoes. And then finally um, at the bottom, there's just one more piece of brown paper. And then the rest of this is just like, there's a little bit of dirt um, and the insulation. This is all of the beautiful produce that I got in my Misfits Market Madness box this week. I mean, when I say feed the family, we are feeding the family here, folks. There is a lot of stuff here. We got the sweet potatoes, a pile of pears, the purple sweet potatoes, we got the potatoes, lime, delicata squash, lemons, apples, we got our beautiful collard greens here, golden beets, pomegranates, cherry tomatoes, and our lettuce. This is a Misfits Market Madness Box ordered in the fall of 2020. Today's Friday and I just got my email to do my shopping for Imperfect Foods. So I click on the Shop Now button and then it'll take me to this page where I can choose from a wide variety of items. So they pre-pack your box with a bunch of suggestions. So here we have lemons, garlic, I don't want garlic, cucumber, white mushrooms, grapefruit, carrots, jalapenos, yellow and red potatoes, pomegranates, limes, pears, apples, sweet potatoes, and fruit per persimmons. Okay, that's interesting. Things are changing all the time with these companies. I think previously I had a minimum of $45, but it looks like I don't have to add any, uh, any money here. I just have the $5 delivery fee and then this is my grand total for the groceries that are already pre-selected for me. I do like that they have this option that uh, I don't want garlic. I can choose to never get garlic and never get jalapenos and those will never be pre-packed for me in the shopping cart. But I am gonna look around and filter by vegetarian. I like that they have this filter, but I also wish that they had a vegan filter because there's still a lot of products on here that have dairy or eggs or honey in them that I'd like to just avoid completely. But yeah, there's lots of things here. River loves this kimchi, so I'm gonna get some more of that kimchi. And I don't know if we really need any more of this stuff. Oh, this is interesting. Peanut butter, creamy, unsalted. We really prefer to get our peanut butter in glass containers, but this is also a really good price, so I'm gonna try this. Okay, let's see what kind of produce they have here. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> But as you can see, they have the price per pound uh, or for a number of items. And it looks like they're not sold out of most things. Sometimes if you don't get on the website fast enough, some of the items will sell out pretty quickly. 
This is true of both Misfits Market and Imperfect Foods. I'd like to get some more carrots. I like the green, we already got green beans in our basket and some of these prices are good. Some of these prices are not so good. Like I would usually get corn two for a dollar and if it's not two for a dollar, then I'm probably not gonna get corn. Here it's two for 165 or for example, red bell peppers. I'll usually buy them if they're under a dollar each but this one is two for 250. So the prices, they're not like insane, but I'm not jumping all over these. Like I said, we are pretty bargain shoppers though, and we like to shop around and get stuff at different stores. So this is probably still a really good option for a lot of people. This is a good price for broccoli though. So I think that's all we need. And I don't think that we need to add anything for our delivery. So I'm good with this price and I'm just gonna take me back to my account and I'm all done. So that's my regular large produce box. And then I have until 12 p.m. on Monday to select my groceries. All right, I just got my Imperfect Foods box, so let's open it up and see what's inside and how everything looks. This box is actually kind of like medium sized compared to boxes that I've gotten before, but it looks like it's because everything could just fit inside, so. Here we go, we got a little bit of broccoli, a bag of green beans, some mushrooms. We have this English cucumber. This is wrapped in plastic. I guess they're more focused on reducing food waste and not necessarily plastic waste. And that's why you'll get stuff like this, like the cucumber wrapped in plastic or the everything wrapped in plastic. Speaking of things wrapped in plastic, I have these carrots here that are in a little plastic bag. A couple more fat carrots here. Three lemons. We have these Melly Gold uh, grapefruits. I didn't expect them to be green. I wonder if they're good. We'll see. Giant sweet potato. Ellipse. All right, I got this for the guys because they love peanut butter and I saw that they have their own creamy unsalted peanut butter. So this is really great for adding to smoothies and Thought it was worth a try because the price was really good. We got a couple pears, a couple potatoes, a couple persimmons, three apples, three little limes, a pomegranate, and three small avocados. So this is everything that came in my Imperfect Foods box today. It's a little bit different now. It looks like they're not doing order minimums anymore and they're in charge of their own shipping, which I guess means that things can come a little bit faster and I was able to get updates for when the Imperfect Foods order was arriving, so I think that was kind of good. Here we still, oh! <laughs> one more thing, I got this Wild Brian kimchi. This is one of our favorite kimchis. This will last about one day in this house. We still have one of these cooler bags, which is recyclable, it's number four recyclable, and then this um, gel ice pack. I guess this one was able to ship with just one ice pack and actually, now that I'm feeling it, it's barely melted at all. So I think that means that the produce that I have here probably wasn't out of refrigeration for very long, which is good. These though, they just get, they stack up. We have a lot of them. I have tried giving these away on my local Buy Nothing group and some people want them, I think especially in the summertime, but I think otherwise it's best to just dispose of it in the kitchen. It says you can recycle it, thaw the pouch and cut the corner, carefully pour the contents into the trash and then recycle anywhere that number four is accepted. So this is especially good if you have a recycling center near you that takes number four plastic. But this is it. Oh, there's one more line here and then um, that's actually pretty cool. There's no more insulation anymore. So I guess that's why the box is a little bit smaller than it used to be. So I think they are trying to reduce their waste here with the smaller box and um, less insulation. Whew, that, is, that thing is cold. It used to come with this kind of like cornstarch chip like stuff. It wasn't plastic, but it was like paper cornstarchy stuff. I wonder if we have some still. This is the kind of insulation that I used to come with. It is like a paper kind of insulation with these cornstarch chips that kind of dissolve in water, I think. And it's nice that they don't have to do this because actually it's kind of like a pain to dispose of. Like, I'm not really sure. It's probably, it's compostable, but like, I don't have a compost heap that can take something this big. 
I think having no insulation is a lot better. This is everything that came in my Imperfect Foods box. Do you think it's worth it for how much I paid? Just in case you were kind of curious about this grapefruit, this is a mellow gold grapefruit. So it's yellow and it, it smells really good. So I'll just take a taste of it. Let's see how it tastes. It's good. It's like not as tangy as pink grapefruit. Cool, all right, I'm glad we got these. <laughs> So that was the ordering experience and unboxing. If you wanna know which one is best for you, you can see that if you wanna have more prepared and packaged foods available to you, I think Imperfect Foods is the way to go. I'd say Imperfect Foods is really good if you want to cut down further on packaging, since right now they're doing the lower waste packaging option. And they have a really wide variety of selection with prepared foods, packaged foods, as well as non-vegan products like meat and dairy and stuff like that. So if you really want a one-stop shop, I think Imperfect Foods is a really good option. On the other hand, if you really want a no fuss and really not overwhelming experience, I would go for Misfits Market, especially if you are prioritizing organic produce. Misfits Market I think is actually 100% organic, which I think is really, really good. I also feel like they kind of hook it up a little bit more maybe, you know, I get the feeling, at least in my area, that I'm getting a little bit more for my money when it comes to Misfits Market. With both companies, you get to customize your box. You can add and take away certain things. You can even set preferences so that something never gets added to your box or always gets added to your box. I know that Misfits Market also has um, other kinds of add-ons that you can add to your box. So there is a lot of selection there are also other companies like Hungry Harvest, which are doing a similar thing, but it's not available in my area. So you might wanna check first which company is available in your area and then select from there. You might also have a CSA or even a local farmer's market that gives you really good local options. At the end of the day, we do have a little bit of extra waste when it comes to the box that it all comes in with the insulation, if it comes with insulation and with the ice packs and then the wrapper of the ice pack. But these things are recyclable and even reusable in a lot of cases. So that's one thing to be aware of. When it comes to the customer service, I've had actually similar experiences with both companies where sometimes because of things that they're doing, like upgrading your, their manufacturing facilities or something because of a holiday or whatever, the boxes will come a little bit late, but they have been really good at letting me know beforehand what is going on. I'd say ease of use of the both of the websites is pretty similar. You can skip boxes if you wanna skip boxes and you even have the option to donate a box or gift a box to somebody, especially I think is really nice during the holiday season. And it's also important to remember that these are small businesses run by human beings and so mistakes are made. I think that sometimes we, especially Americans, who were raised to have it our way, sometimes have too high of expectations of some companies and don't let them make mistakes. In an industry like this, we have to be a little bit forgiving for things not to be completely perfect, especially when it comes to sustainability. Not to excuse all companies for you know not doing things the best that they can do but things are changing very quickly both in the sustainability market and also for these companies specifically so as things change sometimes there's a little hiccup it's okay for me and i think that it is reasonable to have a similar expectation for yourself for it to not be you know the perfect seamless experience but I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you wanna try these out for yourself, I think I can hook you up with a little bit of a deal. Check it out in the description box. Let me know if you have any other questions about the produce. Like this video if you wanna see more videos like this and subscribe if you wanna see more content from me. So I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.